We are ready to start again with our next talk by Professor John from Postec. Welcome. Okay, uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank the organizers, Professor Hyun and Professor Zhou, uh, to making this nice uh, school and workshop. So today I'm going to talk about uh, uh, the diffusion of self-propelled particles which interact with uh, polymers. So this is uh, uh, the brief outline of my talk. So I give you some very brief uh, introduction of active Brownian particles and uh, active viscoelastic system. Then today I mainly uh, give you two uh, topics. The first one is that when this active particle connected, strongly connected to the polymer network. And the other topic is that when this active particle is embedded in the polymer network and what's going to happen. Okay. So in the morning, uh, Professor uh, Yung Ju Pak gave a very nice introduction about the self-propelled particles. So I think that I can actually skip this uh, slide, but I just only show, uh, uh, point out one thing that this, uh, this self-propelled particle is some particles which having the kinetic motion which doesn't satisfy the so-called fluctuation dispersion theorem, which means that there is some additional or thermal energy which that the particle can actually uh, consume to having some uh, uh, some uh, some strange motion, so that uh, the in the mornings we uh, 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 learned about these micro swimmers, and then these micro swimmers give a run and tumble motion, and then there's other examples, so-called like a Janus particle or uh, active colloid. So you can see that it is conventional colloid, but we have uh, some uh, 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 spatial treatment at uh, uh, only half sphere. So we coat it with uh, platinum, and then when they are in, in this solution, then they have a chemical reaction, then it has some uh, directional motions. Because of that, it has a, looks like uh, some uh, uh, living uh, some, uh, uh, particles. And obviously, inside the cell, there are many uh, uh, cases that it shows uh, some active particle motion, which mainly by this ATP-related uh, 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 motor protein. So, uh, so this is uh, some uh, very essential of this, what people call active Brownian particle. As you know, that you imagine that you have uh, one colloid particle like that, and then this particle have uh, two actually uh, motions. So one is the translational, the other one is rotation. But in this case, that when this active particle, I mean this Brownian, I'm, I'm sorry, this colloid having some directional, uh, like a propulsion with the velocity VP, then actually you can see that their rotation and the translational motion is coupled to each other. Because of that, it has actually some directed motion. Imagine that if the rotation is very, very slow, then you see that uh, the particle, because it has uh, some directional propulsion, so it can go some directional motion. But if the rotation is very fast, it can actually very uh, uh, fastly uh, uh, lose the memory, right? So there is uh, some uh, coupling between them. So, so if you uh, analyzing this equation, then you see that actually this directional diffusion can be uh, given by this uh, 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 picture. So you see that uh, the average step length can be uh, the, the, uh, the self-propulsion velocity times uh, this memory time tau a, and this tau a is actually the inverse of rotational diffusivity. So I can give you uh, the simulation of this uh, active Brownian particle. So, uh, so here we can also uh, define how this active motion is strong. So what we call this Peckley number, it's just a measure uh, to quantify the activity of the particle. And then this Peckley number, essentially, you may be consider that some ratio that this active mobility uh, divided by the thermal mobility. So it is one means that it is like thermal motion and active drift is same. So it's larger than one, then that means that this activity is higher than the thermal. So you see that when Peckley number is zero, that the black one, so you see that it shows uh, ordinary Brownian motion. You can see like that. And then if we adding this activity to the self-proportion uh, uh, dynamics, then now you see that it shows uh, uh, directional motion. So it is, looks pretty different. And this is uh, 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 some, some experiment. Uh, 
uh, done by uh, 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 in the French group, and then they uh, they they did a very interesting ex experiment. So they did uh, the Perrin's sedimentation sedimentation experiment for active colloid. So inside of this uh, vessel, there is an active colloid particle. Then uh, and then now we have a gravity, so that you see that. Uh, there's some balance between this concentration of the particle and, and, and then the, the, the height uh, because the force balance between this uh, gravity and then. So here they show that, uh, so you, you see here, the first of all, you see that